things to be discussed first introduction of the Cavite mutiny second issues why the Cavite mutiny happened third issues why that the lives of the Gumborza be sacrificed for the mutiny in Cavite and why fourth issues why the Spaniards inflict the Gumborza to the mutiny in Cavite Mahigit tatlong daang taon mula nang sakupin ng mga Kastilang, konkistador at misyonaryong katoliko ang Pilipinas, nagmistolang batas ang kanilang mga salita na sinunod sa buong kapuluan. Ang sinumang sumuway ay malupit na pinahirapan at brutal na pinapatay, hanggang walang pinuno na tatayo at buong tapang na lalaban. Mutiny, a rebellion against authority. Ibig sabihin ang pagkimagsik laban sa autoridad comes from an old verb mutiny which means revolt o ibig sabihin pagkaalsa sa Cavite kaya tinawag ito na Cavite Mutiny I am James Carlomotos from Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English so today I'm going to represent my video presentation of Philippine history issues and controversies of Cavite Mutiny so the year 1872 is a historic year of two events. First, the Cavite Mutiny. Second, the martyrdom of the three priests, Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora, later been called or immortalized as Gumborza. These two events, the Cavite Mutiny and the martyrdom of the three priests, are very important milestones in the Philippine history and have caused ripples throughout time which directly influencing the decisive events of the Philippines Revolution toward the end of the century. So in this case study, we zoom in in the events of the Cavite Mutiny which became a major factor in awakening of nationalism among the Filipinos to the mutiny events had a different sides of story it have a battered of perspective supported by primary sources. The place you find Cavite is in Luzon area near in Laguna and Batangas. Why Cavite Mutiny become a controversial issue in the Philippine history? Paano nagsimula at ano ang sanhin ito? Una, ito raw ay isang layunin ng mga lokal na tanggalin ang gobyerno ng Espanya sa Pilipinas dahil sa pagalis ng mga pribilehiyo na tinatamasa ng mga Pilipino manggagawa sa arsenal sa paggawa ng armas ng Cavite tulad ng pag-alis mula sa pagkilala, sa pilitang paggawa ng trabaho, pagkaltas ng kanilang sweldo, pagtanggal ng kanilang benepisyo, pagkawala ng sariling karapatan. Isinagawa ng mga Pilipino ang ideya nito kung saan ang mga nanggaanap na kondisyon na nagbunga ng ideya na makamit ang kanilang kalayaan na nabatid nila na inalipin muli sila ng mga Kastila mula sa kanilang sariling bansa. Petrus back from the Cavite Mutiny. First, Cavite Mutiny. Second, Death of Gumborza. Third, Jose Rizal. Nolimitang Hiri. And El Filibusterismo. Fourth, 1896 Philippine Revolution. In historical writing, the Cavite Mutiny of 1872 is really important to us, especially the students, to know what is happened, what is purpose, the sacrifice of the Filipino people during the Cavite Mutiny. That's why there is a possible to help the historical writing of Cavite Mutiny to us to more learn knowledge about the history. The Martyrdom of the Three Priests Gumborza, Gomez, Burgos, and Zamora Mastermind of the Cavite Mutiny The Spanish clergy connected the priests to the mutiny as part of conspiracy to staple the movement of secular priests who desire to have their own parishes instead of being assistant to the regular friars. So, this is my issues that I want to share with you. Issues why that the lives of Gumborza be sacrificed for the mutiny in Cavite. Why? Because the three priests want to defend or reclaim our Philippine independence. They are the one to fight our freedom because of the disastrous and abusive Spaniards. A lot of many people died because of their unjust governance. In order to break the 300 year old dominance of the Spanish government. And also, a number of Filipino intellectuals were seized and accused of complicity with the mutineers. After a brief trial, 
Trey Prest, Jose Burgos, Asinto Zamora, and Mariano Gomez were publicly executed. The three subsequently became martyrs to the cause of Philippine independence. Their brave hearts are designed to empower or to motivate the Filipino people to fight justice for freedom in our motherland. It shows that Filipinos should not be underestimated by the Spaniards' aggression or any country that has desired to colonize the country. Then, second, issues why the Spaniards inflict the Gomborza to the mutiny in Cavite. Because the reason behind is, it was against discharge environment that Gomborza were accused and found guilty of ally or chastrating the Cavite mutiny of 1872 and charged with the treason and sedition by the Spanish authorities. They were sentenced to public execution by Garote. In the same year, all Filipino press were executed by the Spanish colonizers or charged of subversion there, but it was act of false accusation charged against them by Spanish authorities. The Spanish authorities doing their dirty job to abuse and kill the three press by founding their faults and accusing falsely into them.